Hey guys, today we're going to do a video about power banks and in particular we're going to talk about the capacity of them, why the capacity doesn't match up with what the advertisers say, efficiency in power banks, and pretty much how if you're watching videos on YouTube you're getting screwed over. Now a lot of people give away a lot of free stuff and there's a lot of channels that take this free stuff and give out reviews but none of them actually test this stuff which is complete and total BS. It really drives me bonkers. All these people just get free stuff. Eh, it's great. It's wonderful. Look at this man. And then they do these reviews on them because they like getting free stuff. I tell you what and you're going to see this and I'm going to prove it to you beyond a shadow of a doubt that this anchor is the worst power bank on the table. Now how I test these is I use two pieces of equipment. One is a dummy load. Make sure we're focused here. And the other is a little uh, USB counter and what that does is keep track of voltage and um, it actually counts capacity for you. So what I do is I set this little thing to two amps, I plug it into this, plug it into the power bank and it draws two amps from the power bank which is pretty much what you're going to get anyway unless you have a quick charge one and all that jazz. So this will go and count the milliamp hours that this thing produces. Now of course with a big 20,000 milliamp hour uh, battery that can take a long time you're talking like seven eight hours which is why most people don't bother doing it why most channels don't bother doing it even though these things here are like five dollars they're not expensive they're easy to use people still don't do it because they're just lazy and all they want is free stuff all right so with that out of the way now as i talk about this i'm going to edit in some pictures you're going to see of the individual scores that these um power banks got and yeah you're going to be a little shocked all right let's talk capacity now how this works, and we've mentioned before because we've talked about uh, boost converters in other videos. Boost converters convert a lower voltage up to a higher voltage. And I've shown you some, you know, just simple little circuits and things like that that we've played with on the channel. Now what a power bank like this is, is essentially a bunch of batteries. And they can be either lithium, uh, the LiPos, or lithium ion. And the lithium ions pretty much use batteries like we use in our flashlights. They stack up five, six of these in here. They add a boost converter. Bada bing, bada boom, you have a power bank. Now, as we know, LiPos and lithium ions are 3.7 volts. The, the power that comes out of here is 5 volts. So you end up having to convert that 3.7 volts to 5 volts. Now, oftentimes when you see a power bank advertised, they advertise it as capacity. It's a 20,000 milliamp hour power bank or a 5,000 milliamp hour power bank. That is literally the worst way to advertise it. Capacity is subjective to the volts, that, volts and amps that you're putting out. So for example, this power bank at one amp may put out a certain capacity. At three amps, it may put out a different capacity. So the capacity is dependent upon the load that it happens, which is why power banks should be rated with watt hours. Now a good reputable brand like Xiaomi actually puts it on the bottom. They actually mark on here. I can't read it in the lighting here, kind of bright. Um, they mock, they mock, <laughs> they mark it with the watt hours on here. Anchor doesn't do that. Why not? Because they don't care. Um, and they just like giving them free stuff to people. All right, so let's talk and actually show you the numbers on how this works. All right, all right. So how it works is your watt hours equals your voltage times your capacity. So we have 3.7 volts times our 20,000 milliamp hours, which gives us 74,000 milliwatt hours, or we're just gonna say 74 watt hours. Now, if I wanna find out what that capacity is going to be at five volts, I can essentially just reverse the equation. Just, you remember from high school, guys. So now we're gonna take, because we already know <coughs> the watt hours, if we divide that by the voltage, that will give us amp hours. So the capacity of a 20,000 milliamp hour power bank can never be any more than 14,800 milliamp hours, which is essentially a 25% loss right out of the gate due to basically <coughs> that conversion that's going on. But wait, there's more. <laughs> These things have issues beyond that as well. 
because you're talking just about the difference in capacity over voltages. Now you're going to also lose some efficiency based on the wires you use, the state of the batteries, what good of shape they're in, temperature, all that stuff. You're going to lose efficiency even beyond that. And now, for example, the Xiaomi here, I know because I already tested it and you'll probably see a picture pointing up, bing, right there is uh, 14,000, we're just gonna round, just to make life easier, 14,400 divided by our 14,8, which is our theoretical maximum. 97% efficient, guys. <clears throat> this power bank, the circuit, the wires, all that, you can get 97% of the theoretical maximum. Now the anchor, a little different. We got our 5,000 times 3.7, which is 18 and a half watt hours divided by five, gives us the theoretical maximum of 3,700. All right, we're gonna put that answer, bing, up there. So you can see, we're gonna round again, it's essentially 2,800 divided by our 3,700. Yep, 75% efficient. That's Anchor for you guys, the company that everybody loves and all the people get free stuff for. Yeah, 75%. Now let's move on to the Romos, <coughs> which is really cheap, 20 bucks, but it has a LiPo battery. LiPos do a little better in conversion than lithium ion. Kind of cool, huh? So that one has a, I think it was 13,700. I'm winging this, so the numbers may be a little off, guys, but you'll see in the bing picture. Um, so our 13,700 divided by our 14,800. Theoretical possible, you're talking 92% efficient. Now those numbers are not exact, guys. You gotta remember, um, I am not a scientist. I only play one on YouTube. But uh, essentially what you have here is the Xiaomi's, which are super efficient, super, you know, 97% efficient to what they can theoretically get out of them. Your Anchor, which is 75%, and your cheap Romos, which everyone's like, oh, I'm not buying a cheap Romos. I'd rather buy an Anchor which is 92% efficient. So I guess the moral of the story is guys, if you only watch YouTube videos, you're getting screwed. In the end, um, people can talk all they want unless you go and you pull out the equipment, you pull out a dummy load, you pull out something like that and you do this testing and you get the numbers and you spend the time, you shouldn't be reviewing power banks. You know, number one, I know they hand these things to anyone and let anyone review them, but part of the reason why I do what I do and why certain products come up. Like, you know, you'd say, well, of all the products in the world, why this Romos? Why? Because it's 92% it's 92 efficient and it's 20 something dollars. This anchor was like 15 bucks or 16 or 17, somewhere in that neighborhood, and it's 75% efficient. And the capacity is a quarter of that. So what I always try and do is find good value. And I don't substitute quality, and I do the testing, guys, as much as it doesn't always make it into the videos because people don't care and don't want to see it. Here it is now, proof positive that these batteries, these power banks, the quality out of these ones I'm recommending is much better, they're much more efficient, and you're getting your money's worth. And that's why I do what I do. But hopefully this will help you guys when it comes to buying these things. And when you run off to Amazon and buy these anchors, you are not always getting your money's worth. The best brand out there is Xiaomi. They are often 97, 98% efficient to that theoretical maximum. Now remember guys, there is nothing, 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 nothing in the world you can do about that conversion from 3.7 to 5 volts. That is just the laws of physics, you can't change it. Now good wires, and I use the same wire for the test guys, so there's no variable there. You know, using good wires, you know, taking good care of the batteries, not getting them too hot, too cold, stuff like that. A lot of things you can do to make it more efficient, but in the end guys, best, second, way worse. Think that over when you buy stuff. Remember that when you watch reviews, guys.